cool little bulletin board that I got at a thrift store for about $5.99. It has a little damage on one corner, but I feel that I'm going to distress this a little bit on the white border of the board. And I have this cute little zebra head piece, little wooden piece that someone had used to hang up on a wall. And I'm going to add it onto or attach it to the bulletin board using this block of, of wood that I have here. I'm going to sand the edges of the wood and then I'm going to adhere it to the top of the board here. You can save yourself time as you really don't have to sand the little piece of wood, but I have the sander out, so why not? Distressing time so that corner flaw that was on the bulletin board is just going to blend right in after I sand the border of this bulletin board. I always say, if you don't know what to do, distress it. I can't tell you how many pieces of furniture I've done just that and have sold them because people like that and it looks really good. So I have distressed the uh, board so that way the uh, corner that kind of was damaged it blends in now with the other pieces or the other corners because I sanded those as well so that it has a very distressed look. So when I get this little zebra head wooden piece on the bulletin board, it's going to come out super, super cute. So now to measure the length of the board to find the center point for the block of wood. I want Mr. Zebra centered right in the middle. Using E6000 glue to put on the small sanded block that I'm going to adhere the block to the bulletin board and then the zebra to the block. Heavy item on top to help it adhere. Once Mr. Zebra has been glued on, I am now putting a heavy item on top of that as well. So I'm super excited at how this cute piece turned out. It was super easy. Anyone can do it. Um, I had a um, old bulletin board that I bought at a thrift store that was a little bit damaged and I distressed it with a sander. I had this cute little plaque, but you could add any type of embellishment to the bulletin board to make it your own. But I thought this would be super cute for a young child to put their pictures on and it just made me happy to think about that. This was a super easy Poppin' PJ's garage creation for that little one. Gotta love the thrift flips DIY. If you enjoyed this video, pop that subscribe button, like, and share. Thank you.